Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're tying a blue winged olive dry fly. This is the traditional version, not a parachute, just a standard blue winged olive, which is a great option to have if you're fishing riffly water. The type of hackle, um, it's a little oversized, wrapped right on the hook shank, helps keep the fly up high on the surface and prevents it from sinking in riffly water. So it's still a good option to have. So we've got 70 denier thread, we've got a uh, dry fly hook in the vise, and wrap about halfway back on the hook shank, and then spiral back to that two-thirds point, so that we're about two-thirds of the way towards the eye from the back of the hook. And we're going to do our wings out of some hen hackle tips. This is done dyed hen hackle. And what I've done is laid them so that their natural curve opposes one another. And then you should get your hackle tips to splay like that. And you want to match them up so that the tips are, are even. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll start finding how long our wing should be. And roughly, we want our wing to be roughly the length of the hook shank. So what we'll start doing is just folding back the fibers and just leaving those rounded tips forward. Just keep folding those fibers back until you're about at that point where the length from where you've folded back your fibers to the tip of the uh, feather is about equal to the length of the hook shank. I'll just take off a or fold back a couple more. Okay, that's about right. So we'll take those to the tie-in point, right on the top of the hook. We want to take two or three wraps to tie those in. Make sure they're up on the top of the hook. Wrap back a little bit. Take your thumb and forefinger, pull those back, stand them up. Wrap some thread wraps right in front of them to really help them stay propped up. Then we can go ahead and get rid of our excess. Now, if you did it right, you should see that your wings curve away from one another. You can accentuate that by putting some thread wraps in between the wings. You have to be careful you don't tweak them one way or the other and get them all out of whack. <clears throat> and then just use your thumb and forefinger then to kind of set them where you want them. Splayed out nicely. Okay. So now we've done our hackle tip wings. Go to the back of the hook with our thread. And here's where we'll tie in our tail. And we're going to use hackle fibers for the tail. And I'm going to use Coq de Leon from Whiting. I like how long the fibers are, how nice and straight they are. And they just have a nice little bit of speckling to them. Again, we want these tails roughly the length of the hook shank, so we'll use the hook shank as a little ruler there to measure that out. Switch hands to our left hand, tie those in on the top of the hook. And then wrap down over the length of the abdomen. And then we'll sneak in there with our scissors and trim those out. Let me pull them back here. Getting caught up in my wing. There we go. Trim those off. And got one more little fiber there that wants to sneak in the way. Okay. So now we have our tails tied in. We can take our thread to the back of the hook once again. And now we'll take some dubbing. I'm going to use a bluing olive color dubbing from Nature Spirit. 
And you really want to start with just a little bit of dubbing. You don't need much. So you end up with a a fly that's too too fat. You want to just start with a little bit of dubbing and add as you go if you need more. So I got our dubbing on. Slide that up. Work your way forward with your dubbing going back slightly with each wrap if you need to build a little additional taper. We'll just put in another wrap or so. And then as we're close to our wings where our hackle is going to go, we'll take off our excess. Any extra will wind up. There we go. Now we've got our abdomen in place and now we can do our hackle. We'll take some done hackle and I've got some done neck hackle here also from whiting. I'm going to tie in two of them. So I've stripped a little bit of the stem away so I can use that as a tie-in point. And I want the natural cup of the feather facing forward. And so this would be if you're looking at your your cape or your saddle, the, the, the face of the feather that's showing is the top of the feather. The side of the feather facing the cape or the saddle is the bottom of the feather. We want the bottom of the feather facing up as we tie it in so that when we wrap that around the hook, the fibers uh, from the bottom side face forward, which will mean the hackle cups forward and will ride higher on the water surface. We'll tie down the rest of our stems. Got a little extra stem material here that I'm going to sneak out of the way there. Trim it off. Okay, one last look at our wings, make sure that they're in good shape. I'll leave our thread just in front. Now I'll take my hackles, grab those two together, and start winding, just making sure that they they stayed facing the direction I wanted, and we'll put in a few wraps behind the wings and the <clears throat> without pushing our wing down too much there I'm starting to push that wing down so I'm going to back off make sure my hackles will wind together here a little bit more there we go put in a few wraps there and I'll fold those back and we'll sneak our hackles in front of the wings and do at least three wraps or so in front. Depending on how heavily hackled you want. Do one more wrap here. There we go. And then to tie that off I'll just fold those hackles back so that I'm not capturing too many of them down with the thread. Sneak my thread in there and tie those off. Try not to capture any hackle fibers. You can pull them back out of the way. And then you're going to trap a couple. I trapped a couple down there, but we'll trim out the others that are in the way. Now we can, once our hackle is tied off, trim off our excess and trim off any little hackle fibers that got caught in the thread and are up near the eye. There we go. And now we'll do a whip finish right behind the eye. Before I do that, let's add a couple more thread wraps there. Okay. Now, finish the fly with our Whip finish. Make sure that's nice and tight. Trim off our thread. Probably not a bad idea to apply a little head cement there. But there you go. A blue winged olive dry fly. Definite must have for fishing faster water, riffly water, where you need that fly to stand up a little bit on the surface of the water. And it's, it's still an indispensable pattern, so make sure you have some of these in your box. Thanks for watching. 
Lots of other videos at our website, www.flyfishsd.com.